Ajana is not like a big city or anything, right? It's uh, like another version of um, there's a person walking right, uh, like we'll be passing by. So I'm like lowering whatever you know. So. Welcome to Mars Vlogs. Uh, so, uh, actually, I just got done with work now, and uh, I was just uh, whiling around till around 7 p.m. It's around 5:30 here. Um, I'm just out uh, near downtown, so I thought I'll just uh, take a vlog and show you guys downtown because I have some time with me, and I might as well show you guys it all. Uh, so today I got done with work in the usual time it's like around five o'clock I finish with work and uh, I have around like one and a half two hours before I pick up Prashant so he does not know I'm picking up today picking him up today but then I thought okay um, I have like one and a half hours uh, uh, one and a half hours and I might as well come and you know like show you a tour of downtown you can hear a kid uh, screaming in the background I really don't know whether she knows that I'm vlogging and she's just trying to distract me. But any which ways, I hope you can hear my voice. Uh, so this is the Victoria Park. Uh, I'll show you around. So this is like at the center of uh, the uh, um, Regina and it's, it's like the proper downtown area. So you have like Hotel Saskatchewan on one side and you have a lot of restaurants. Then you have like two towers here for Canada Life and all those kind of things. And uh, then you have your SDI and bus stops and all there. Um, I'll try to cover as much as possible uh, and show you guys, you know, like uh, a glimpse of downtown Regina. me um, like Rajana is not like a big city or anything right it's uh, like another version of um, there's a person walking right uh, like we'll be passing by so I'm like lowering whatever you know so I'm so conscious to actually vlog in uh, front of other people like people won't uh, think that I'm such a person but I am very very conscious and I uh, that's one of the reason why I don't actually vlog too much in public because um, I feel that the other person's privacy is important I don't like vlogging other people uh, so I make sure that you know uh, I avoid people when I'm vlogging okay so what I was telling is Rajana is not like a big city or something as compared to like Toronto or Vancouver or something it's a very small city uh, in Saskatchewan actually smaller than Saskatoon so many people have asked me is, is Saskatoon better or is Regina better uh, both have has its plus and minuses Regina is uh, more um, oriented to government jobs or there are IT jobs and all those kind of things but more of you know like how uh, Delhi and Bombay is right. Bombay is Saskatoon and Delhi is uh, uh, Rajana, where you know more of government officials and the parliament is uh, yeah parliament or legislative is here. So things like that. Uh, so uh, it's a very small downtown. Also, it's not like a huge downtown where there are skyscrapers and uh, you know things to do and all those things. But whatever is there is more than sufficient for this tiny mini place. I have been in Rajana since uh, almost one year and I wouldn't complain about anything here it's a small city but I like it uh, so now I'm standing actually in front of this memorial which is right in center of the park and uh, this is just like a memorial uh, for 
you know the people who have dedicated uh, their uh, services to Regina or Saskatchewan in specific. Uh, so you can see the Canada flag there, and there's also a Saskatchewan flag on the other side. Uh, so during winters, uh, we actually have an ice rink uh, out there. Uh, we also had the igloo competition and things like that happening in Regina. So it's not that because it's very cold here, you do not have any activities. You have sufficient activities during summer and winter. And uh, so this is how uh, the center of the park looks. So you can see that that's the buildings there. Then I'm just going to take a circular motion so that you guys can see. That's the memorial at the back. Then there are some restaurants on that side. So this is just one side of the downtown Regina. Uh, there are other, the other side on where you know there's major commercial activities happening where the mall is there then there is also uh, the bus stops and things like that i will try walking through that uh, alley and i'll try to show you that uh, but i'm mainly exploring the park because it's a little bit of physical activity for me too so i take a lot of vlogs about rajaina and also about canadian immigration so follow my channel to know more about Regina, Saskatchewan and also about immigration. I've seen a lot of people coming in from different places from Canada like uh, Toronto, BC and all those places mainly for the PR okay because they can't get the PR there they shift here obviously it will be like a major shock for them because it's nothing as compared to Toronto or BC or any other larger city it's got it's got its own charm i wouldn't say that this is like the best place to settle down but if you have an intention in mind nothing like it uh so this is actually where uh, the farmers market usually takes place so there's one happening this week uh so this whole uh, area will be filled with uh, stores for like vegetables or handcraft goods and things like that so i'm excited to visit the farmers market here canada as much as it's known for its winter it's also known for its bright and sunny summer especially in saskatchewan like it might be freezing cold where it's like minus 50 but at the same time now it's like 24 it's just the start of spring and it's already 24 degrees so i'm enjoying it Now I'm just going to walk through uh, one of the side alleys and go to the other side of the road where uh, the Cornwall Mall is there. Uh, so we'll just walk there. Uh, I'll show you the Cornwall Mall, uh, but I'm not going to go inside mainly because uh, today I don't have time for that. But one day I'll surely take you guys inside Cornwall Mall and then you can have a, a glimpse of that too. So this is just going to be like a walking tour uh, and yeah. So that's like the bus transit that is there in uh, Regina. As you can see, this is Hudson Bay. Uh, that's part of the mall. So that's the bus service. Uh, so this is like the uh, main Cornwall mall actually one of the main malls in Regina uh, and this is the whole bus area so you get all the major buses from these places alleys in uh, the Cornwall area. So this alley actually connects the Saskatchewan Royal Hotel to the Cornwall Mall. So it's like 
there are a lot of uh, factory shops and things in this road but i don't see much people at any point of time i've been here during winter also if possible i'll put the footage here it was like freezing cold and me and prasham we were like running throughout here and there so there are many people walking in the background mainly because they are trying to get to the other side of the road um, but there's not much activity in this area Uh, so now I'm kind of winding up uh, for this vlog. Um, this is just one side of downtown Regina. I'm not explored in detail, but you will get an idea that it's not as secluded or as uh, bad as people portray it to be. Uh, you need to find your joys in whichever place you are. Uh, the, we have come here for a purpose, so I find it okay. Like you can shift from this place whenever you want. Like once you get your PR or something. So. Try to find happiness where you are. It's kind of windy today, but you guys might be wondering what the hell is this. Uh, so this is actually a pull statue. So this is what it is. And the bones that are piled together. It's it's symbolic, and uh, it's a bull or a bison or a moose. Like I don't know what it is, but it's one of it. We've got some art installations here. Uh, I'm not sure what is the significance or is there anything uh, specific about it, but I thought I'll show you guys up. So there's one or the other thing, small small things happening here. So yeah. It is a Sakeway artist collection and uh, you can see here. also got some restaurants on one side of the road so if you want to like have a romantic date night or something uh, you can bring your loved ones or just catch up with a friend friend that's what it is we have like some more restaurants there downtown Rajaina. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of Rajaina, places like this, things to explore, uh, comment below and let me know about it. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, weekday and uh, I'm I'm so happy it's like warm and I'm sweaty and I'm like feeling good about it because obviously your energy levels are better when it's summer or spring because winter is a little depressing but overall it's fine. So uh, guys please share, like and share like share and subscribe i've still not got used to it i think like share and subscribe and also uh, comment below let me know your thoughts about the videos do you find it entertaining do i need to make it more entertaining or do i need to mellow it down <laughs> mellowing it down i don't think so will happen because this is as mellow i can get <clears throat> so that's it guys um that's all for now